Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Jolene woke it up at 8 this morning, looking like a 10. And uh, we had coffee together. It was a really good morning. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is, is we're going to tear this, tear into this truck. Um, yeah, we're going to tear into this truck. What I was saying about the truck, how this comes up like this, and as I'm sitting in it, in order to get out of this truck, you just can't swing and get out of it, hit, hit the side of your leg. You've got, to, got to pick your leg out, your foot up, put it on like that. It's not so bad. Then you got to pick this foot up, put it over top of this one. It's not so bad to get in, to get out of it. But to get into it, it's hard to pick that foot up when you're trying to get into it. So we're going to have to, we're going to tear into it a bit. We're going to change a few things. We're going to, we plan on changing it into an oil truck. So we're going to put fenders on it. This is just for the people that weren't here yesterday. We're going to put fenders on it. We're going to make fenders. This is all going to have to be taken off. It's going to be taken off. We're going to make a couple spouts up here to look like it's an oil tanker. Uh, we're going to put a door on the back so it closes the tanker in. We're going to put a hood on it. And we're going to put hood sides on it. On this year of car, I think this is a 27, I think it is, or 28. And the reason I say that is because the cowling is smaller. You have this piece going in here. That's that's a different year. Uh, there's probably a lot more people out there who could tell me exactly what it is. But I think it's 27 or 20, 27, 28. The whole body of from here back was fabricated from a flat sheet of metal. Uh, the chassis was a chassis that was sitting outdoors that has been stretched. I think it's a Chev chassis is what I think it is. I think it's an early chassis that I bought. Um, I will buy a chassis if I think that, you know, I'm going to use it down the road. That's what I do as I try to pick up things that I think that are reasonable. So we're going to put a hood on it and we're going to put hood sides on it and we're going to make fenders. On this one here, as I get noticing, the headlights, we made the headlights turn with the wheel which is just a, I don't know, it was something to do to be, be a little bit different uh, for, for this truck, I guess. Um, I, I noticed, I know what's gonna happen now. If I put fenders on it, that's not gonna work because that's gonna, where my fenders are gonna be uh, bolted to the chassis or the body or whatever it's gonna be bolted there. When it turns the wheel, the headlight would hit the fender. So that, that's an automatic, gotta take that off. Then we're gonna be replaced and dealt with, I guess. The running boards that we have on there, then we're going to have to be taken off and replaced and dealt with. So there's something different going to have to go on there. Like I said, the opening here, we're going to do something there. I think there was a, Jolene read me a comment this morning on the way to town, uh, make it into a door. You never know. I think a cutout it would be easier than hinging a door, but you could make a little tiny door there, no doubt in my mind. Uh, as we get going on the front end here, you can see on this one here we have a flathead V8 in it. It's not, it's not supposed to have that. This cowling it would never have had a flathead V8, never come out until 32. I, I do know that part, I guess. We do not have the right radiator in it. You can see how the piping of the, the water is done in this one. Um, it's piped up to get it done um, the fastest and easiest way is what we had. Um, if if we were able to buy everything that we needed, we would have bought a 32 Ford Red. We would have bought the hoses. We would have bought a chassis. We would have bought the whole thing. But what's going on with this truck? If it's been made, so what I'm going to do is make it into something else. I was out here trying to figure out how to get the grill off. Um, as I got going on, I was pulling on it and pulling on it and pulling on it, trying to figure out, look at it, and trying to get the bolts off it. I want to get the grill off because I think I want to change that grill. I went out in the old junkyard, and my junkyard is right outside the storage containers out there. It's right over by the trees. I have hood sides off a 30, not sure, 38, 39, 36, no. Can't say 36 because those are 36. I, I got those hood sides off uh, when I did the cab over truck when I put the 36 uh, four door cut in half and made it in, and put it on top of the 49 Merc. Those are the hood sides off of 36. So those are, uh, I would say, they could be 35, I suppose, but they're in the 30s or Ford. I tried them on. They do not. They do not work, or they're not going to work. So I'm just going to make my own. I could cut them. I could cut them and uh, make them work, I suppose, um, but they're just not the shape that I want them to be in. Jolene said, turn it around, so I went to the other side, turned around, tried to close that end up, 
and uh, they're just they're just not the shape that I'm thinking that I want. So what's going to happen is is we'll make it. It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, we could come down there further and make it look like it really does fit. I want to keep the headers on it. I want to keep those. Those are all made in house or just a kit that you buy from Speedway. As we notice with this grill here, uh, this is not the the opening that it's supposed to have. It's just a piece of metal that we had outside that we used. Um, I went out there and I found, I think this is, would be off a, a T or I think maybe off a T. A Model T that is got Ford script on the front there. Uh, it's pretty basic how it bolts on just there What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to try see if I can fit this on As we were doing this truck this truck was done in the quickest manner as possible There was a lot of hands on it at the time uh, a few different hands on it So everything that has been done to it. I have I, I don't know some of it wasn't done by me uh, like the radiator situation the grill situation wasn't done by me i was doing fabricating the body and that sort of stuff trying to get that ready but there's been some things that i did not do so i have no idea but when i tear into it i will figure it out and we'll just we'll just go from there but what i did figure out is if i yank on this grill shell hard enough and pull it up it will come off so i'm just going to pull it off I just shoved it on there easy, but it's on there quite rigid. You would never get it off. It would, it's not coming off. There's a there's a frame welded in there. But as I got going on it, just pulls off just like that. That's how basic that was. Um, pulled that off. That just, that just went down over top of this opening here. So what we've got is we've got a grill shell uh, welded on there. We got a, uh, I would say a red support and something to hold the radiator in place i'm thinking this is a mustang radiator and the reason we use the mustang radiator because of the size of it um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut i'm going to cut this stuff off and i'm going to start all over again and uh, the reason i'm going to start all over again because i'm i'm building um, something a little i want to put a hood on it if I was not running hood, I'm, I'm ha I was fine with that. That just shoved on there. It was not going anywhere. So you would really have to yank on it to get it, get it to get it off. So that's where I'm going. So I'm going to cut, start cutting this stuff off. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to end up trying to see if I can get that grill shell put on. We'll, we'll, we'll string something in that after a bit for a. It usually had the radiator for uh, the opening, I think, or for the for the grill I'm not sure but this was just used for the grill I'm gonna cut that bad boy off and I have to check it out and see how it to get it off so I'm just gonna take my time here I'm gonna take my time I'm gonna cut this off right now right before your very eyes and that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna cut into it and start rocking and rolling on this thing here it's a brand new brand new situation what we got going on Jolene got me some new zip cuts yesterday Got lots of zip cuts. Man, I cut that truck up in no time. So we'll just get a zip cut going. So it's gonna take a little bit to get started, but once we get started, we'll, we'll, we'll really dig into it and we'll go from there. We'll go from there. I did not start the truck. I just kind of pulled it in. Um, hopefully we can get this done in a fairly reasonable manner of time. And uh, we'll go from there. Got a hard spot, we got it welded in there. down in there a ways and I can't get it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off.
checking things out. And because I don't know, just checking things out. I have a flat piece of metal going across the front of that, bent into a 90, which holds that rad support, which is not a bad thing. Just gonna see. Now I got this new one here. It's not that new, obviously, but. That does, that does fit better. I like that better already. I like that better already. And I can weld a tab on this. That fits nice, actually. Yeah, that fits better. That fits nicer already. <laughs> Wish we would have found that in the junkyard. i pull this off here. Just want to see what's going on. Much better. Amazing how that fits. Hey? Was that on purpose? <laughs> Alrighty. That does fit nice down there. Now I can now I can put something on. Just continue that down all the way along. Radiator, I can still get the radiator cap off. That's a, that's the thing. This radiator cap is going to be filled in because I'm not going to use that radiator. We've got this one here. So I'm using what I have. I'm using what I have to make it work. I'm just looking at Prism. I got a not I got a 90 right here with the old the old grill shell or the face of it. Um, well, this is a 90 here, and this is welded on the face of it down in the front there. We tacked that on there, obviously, or someone did, obviously. And now I do not want that there. I'm thinking that I might um, cut that off and run a piece of square stock going across there. See what happens, just looking at it. That fits nice in there, that fits nice in there. What I, what I want to make sure of is, what I want to make sure of is when I put, that, that's not going to be able to fit like that, as I stand here looking at that like right now, um, that's, that grill shell is not going to be able to go down that far. That grill shell is going to have to come up quite a ways. And the reason being is, when I look at, when I look at the front of this cow piece here, so I'm going to have to take my time at this. I just can't go ahead and start cutting something. When I look at this piece here, I would never want this piece, or I don't want it to. Uh, as I shove that down on there and make that fit down on there, you can see as I shut that down on there, when, uh, when you look at it this way, you would never want a hood running down like that. Don't want that. And this is one thing I'm going to do right now as I get started. I'm going to jack the front end up. And the reason I'm going to jack the front end up is because I don't know with the rake that it has it's going to be hard to tell me if i got if i got the hood looking right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jack the front end up put the front end on jack stands trying to get the the playing field of the truck sort of level look to the eye anyways and then when i put the hood on then i can make the hood level with the truck if i'm if i'm down running downhill all the time it's going to be hard for me to know whether it looks good that's that's my opinion and uh, you do it as you please but for me I want to level this truck up first to see what's going on and sometimes to just cut and to go forward it's not possible you, you have to stop and take a look for a minute and try to figure things out as I cut that off I just knew I did not want it <laughs> and I might change a few things as I go but I can tell you one thing right now, I'm much happier with, with the T grill shell than that one. Much happier. And that is something that we had. And that's how it rolled. That's how it still rolls. Do with what you have. So I'm just going to keep going up, obviously. It's 
not bad there now. It looks just gonna leave that one like that. It should be fine. Me and Joel are going to Australia in four weeks, are we not? I, I really would like to have everything done on this in four weeks when we leave. Then we can say we, we, we did something, we got some, some paint on it, we got some fenders on it and that sort of stuff. But we are going to Australia and uh, I, I'm pretty sure that Jolene is gonna take you with us. And what I mean by that is we're not packing in the suitcase. <laughs> She's gonna film while we're there um, probably every day just like any other, any other day and uh, I'm excited to go there not excited to do the plane ride but that's you know you have to do um, you have to do it if you want to go I guess you know you have to do the plane ride I can't just uh, snap my fingers or tap my boots together and say I'm gonna go but I'm, I'm excited to do the trip and meet all the new people it's going to be fun to see a different culture, that's for sure. Alrighty, I'm going to say that's it. Another thing too, I want to give uh, Brunt Boots a shout out um, because I've been wearing them for the last month. They are warm. They are comfortable. My feet are probably not the, the best feet in the world. They're nice and wide and like Jolene said, it looks like you got a couple bunions on there. but. Um, <laughs> that's 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 what it is. But the boots are fantastic. Um, my feet are not wet. They they're they feel good. Um, they're a nice boot. What, baby? You don't like the, me talking about my old my old bunions? Huh? Too funny. <laughs> well, I just I just haven't got the prettiest feet in the world. That's all, have I? No. They're not the prettiest feet. You wouldn't want to kiss them or anything, would you? Probably not. The toenails are okay. It's just the feet are a little bit funny looking. That's okay. Um, as I get looking at this, we do not like, as I'm get looking at this, I think it's basically we're, we're level somewhat. Um, I'm going to, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this going. And then we're going to try to get this mounted in a place where we like it. Um, like Lauren Green would say, any mounts her? You ever watch that show, sweetheart? Lauren Green, he's the guy that did the, the Animal Kingdom sort of thing, did that show. Now I'm gonna want something to go across there. I'm just going to look, and that's, initially, if I can get that to stay. To get something underneath that. Dun, bum, 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 Just for now. That could be my level I'm going to use. If I got it somewhat level, I'm going to stick this underneath the. Falling apart. That's not going to work, is it? That'll work. Stay. Damn it. A pair of ice grips would work probably better. C clamps. You'll have to forgive me. It's been a while. I've been learning how to trailer cars. Pull this out of my way. Joey's snickering at me a little bit. You're snickering at me a little bit, sweetheart. I ain't snickering at me a little bit. Just gotta pull this up. bend that. I'm going to get another one for the other side. I wonder where them little suckers are going to. I had two nice sets of those little ones. But they're not, not showing up right at the present second. I want a tape measure I think I do. Just going to try to get it the same on both sides, that's all. Five and a half. Just 
so it don't fall. Five, seven, eight. Off by a quarter. Or eighth. That's good enough. Cool. Alrighty, let's gonna put this across there. See if I like it. That looks good. Probably could come down a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little level. We'll slide it on the chassis. Let's go this. We'll slide it on the chassis. See what's. I think we get a little more room on the other side for the chassis. If you want to come over this side, so we hear it. I'm not sure. Yeah, we do have a little bit more room. All right. That's where the bubble is on the on that right now or mostly to the back side. The bubble is on that line quite heavy. Um, I do not care where it's at, but when I go up here, if it's in the exact same place, it's, it's telling me that the, it's running somewhat right. If this is exact same place, that can go down a little bit because you can see that we're level right on the money. Um, if we want it to run with the chassis, which it probably should, we don't want it kicked up in the air. Won't that come down an inch? What? First half an inch. Like Will this come down? Mm -hmm. What? Like your roller should be sitting down on that. In this part? Yeah. Aha! That thing's sharp as a tack. And that's true. See where we're, see where jo Jolene just said? And she just, she, Jolene picked up on this. Where this, where this is down in here like that, and where that's up on top of that, that ruler should be down inside there, so we probably would get the true read if... Jolene wants me to lift this one up and put it on top. Now she's telling me how to build the truck. It's right on the money. Well done, Jolene, well done. What we did is we just put it on top of this one. You're a sharp cat this morning, baby. So we just put it on top of there, where it's on top of that one. And you can see where the bubble's at, pretty well exactly the same as we take it down here. I'm not gonna to try to level the truck up and try to do that. I'm gonna bring it back down here. We're about in the exact same area. You can see where the bubble's at. It's right on that line there. Right on that line there. So that tells me that that grill shell is good right there. And I like how I'm just looking at it by eye. I can see this line here. This here is going here like this. I like how it's leaning this way. Like it, when I look back at it, and your sharps attacks more me, I must say. I, I probably wouldn't have picked up on that right early, maybe after a while. But you, right now, I do like how that's, how that's going like this. I like that with this. And, and it is by eye, and it's by preference. You can lean them ahead if you want to. You can lean it back if you want to. But basically, I want them sort of running the same. I'm thinking that I have the grill shell in the height that I need it. I'm thinking that I have the grill. That was too easy. Um, if I, as long as I listen to Jolene, uh, the grill shell is looking pretty good running down here. Um, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make a length of this. Yes, so I need I'm going to make a length. I'm going to make this shape here from this distance here, this round shape here. I'm going to make that. I'm going to cut that off so it goes down there, and then I can bolt that to this cross member where the where the radiator is going across. I'll make a length of that. I'll weld that there. We'll bolt that. That can be bolted down there, and then I might take a piece of square stock and run it in front of this all the way across for some more support instead of having the 90 with this on it and that way there it'll clean that off that's 
what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take a measurement and I'm going to make, that's where I want it. I do know, I'm not liking, I'm not liking, uh, da, 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 what am I not liking? Not liking this piece in there, not liking that part. But there's nothing I'm going to do about it right now. It's holding it together. I think I'll get this in place first. I can always extend this up. What I'll do is I'll leave that piece on there because this, this is all right going along here. I'll extend that up and then run a straight piece across so it's in the back side of the grill shell, so it's up here. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll extend that and bring that up inside under the back side of this. But I want to get this grill shell in the right place first. Let's make these pieces. Let's make these pieces. So I want a piece at least, no, we'll make a piece nine inches long. Looks like it's good, good metal up there. Should be the same. So I can make a piece nine inches long. Now we're gonna make this shape. So it's three inches wide. So I need a four inch strip, four inches wide by nine inches long. So 18, 99 is 18, is it not? Uh, and four wide. No sheet metal right there, piece of sheet metal right there. How long did I say I wanted that? 18 inches long. Not four. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to get it straightened out and then we'll cut it out of this. Looks better already. Looks better already. Going with the factory edge. Let's get a little 90 on that side too. Get that marker out of my new. Now, that little, little rounded edge there, I'm gonna make that, I guess. Back side, it's got a little bit of a, a 90 on the back side. We might need more than a four. So we've got a factory edge here, right here. So we need 18, we said, baby. 18. Got my gloves on today. I'm feeling a bit, I don't know, naked without them, I guess. Make it a little bit long. make a nice straight edge with the shear and then I'll measure uh, the four. I'm going to move a couple things. have tomorrow I think we have we'll, we'll probably film it 
tomorrow. I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure tomorrow, uh, we have a man from from New Brunswick coming to um, buy the 48 Fleet Line. You know, I really do enjoy the car, but in in all you know, in all seriousness, um, to house it or to house it over there and not to drive it. Um, as an antique car fold, like you know a lot of the times and, and keep it going uh, does not make sense for me all the all the cars that, that I've built I want to take care of those ones but in all honesty where we're not drive that fleet line a lot I feel like it should go to a new home that someone that's actually going to use it and drive it and that he's going to come and Gonna come and buy it, I think, tomorrow. Pretty sure. And he wants something. He doesn't want something that um, to restore. He wants to just drive it, and that's the perfect car for for that situation. Um, if someone's gonna restore that car, yeah, I guess go go for it. Um, but I'm thinking he just wants to drive it, and that would be the perfect car for that. Just to drive it. I like it with the nose up already better, like it just just looks better. Looks better. I should put this. Just looks better. I'm gonna give me a little bit more. I'm gonna give myself a what's going on here is if you take a look, I got a little tiny bit of a 90 on the back side of this bad boy. And I want that little bit of a 90. I even got a little bit more of the 90 than that. I got this piece on there. This is what I'm going to do to make this piece instead of me trying to complicate it and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to do this piece. I'm going to do this flat here and I'm going to make that round there. I'll make that out of one piece. When it comes to this little 90 and this jaw go here, I'm going to bend a 90 and then I'm going to zip cut it because I would never get that short of it. You can see this little 90, this little 90 right here. I'm going to rip that off a second. You can see that little tiny 90 there. It's about a quarter of an inch maybe. If I went to bend a quarter inch of 90 in that break over there, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get that nice that cut like that. So I, what I'll do is I'll bend, say, well, three quarter by three quarter, I can bend that no problem. Then I'll cut that with a zip cut and I'll weld that down on the edge so it's, it's good. So um, to try to make that all in one piece, not going to do it. I'm gonna make it out of two. So I'm just gonna keep going with my my four inch piece, that four inch piece will give me the flat and then I can round the front off, I can weld that onto this, get the length of it. I might even keep, I might even keep the end of it. You can see this end piece here that's got this nice, this nice piece here on this. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to make uh, this piece first. I got, a, I got a nice straight edge over here. Four. Four. Cut that off. The shear is nice to get a nice straight line. That's what I like the shear for. Um, yeah, that's what I like the shear for. Get me on the straight lines, another thing. Cut that off there. I like to use 18 gauge. This is 18 gauge. It's very, very rigid. Um, anything other than that, I'm going to go in here and see if I can bend the, the round piece. I got some metal to move. I want to do that, don't I? I'm going to move it. I want to stick it in there and see if I can't get the little rounded edge going. That wasn't so hard. 
Got some aluminum here. It's, it's amazing the difference in the heft. I never have done much with aluminum, but I might start. Jolene's windshield. Probably shouldn't have been behind that metal, but here's Jolene's windshield. It's hard to believe that came in a box in the mail. We have not opened it up yet. <laughs> we haven't now. She got new stainless for around her window. This is the old stuff. It probably could have been polished, maybe. Not sure. Now I've got a round shape on the front of that grill. And I'm going to try to start it here. Just trying to get it in. I try to start it here. Try. And it might be beneficial to me to have a T dolly to dolly it over. Let's we'll see what happens. Let's we'll see what happens. It might be too much of a. Let's go take it and check it out. I got a little bit of it, I got it started. There we go. And we got it started. Now we just got to get that flopped over. You can see how it started. I got enough metal on the back side. Ooh, just enough. I might have a tea dolly here. Maybe. I'm going to go in there and do it with on that one. I'm going to use this hammer. It's been a while since we've done any of this, this fabricating stuff, has it not, sweetheart? It's been a while. I know everybody don't like the noise, but... Now, I am going to put that right here. Just gonna tap it down. The reason no T dolly is because I've got it bent, and I'm hitting it right on the edge, and I'm feeling like it should roll over. Let's see if it's straight. Sometimes it doesn't take much. Just looking down and see if it's straight. Let's take it back out there and check it out and see what it fits like. Yeah, that needs to be rolled over quite a ways. Now. See if I've got yeah, this is what I consider a T dolly, just just a handle with something you know, put underneath there and then I can bend it over. That would probably work perfect. Then I got a little one made there, and it's like a little tiny one, you would probably work perfect. It doesn't much matter, I don't think. I think I like the longer one better. And that's just a, something I made. I must have made needed to make a shape. Also, with that going like that, I probably could put it in the brake. 
I'm going to put in the brake first because I can always round it off. Put that right there so I know what's that. I'm going to get my marker. I'm going to draw a little line on this so I know where to clamp it. I'm just going to do it by quickly. Just so it's the same distance all the way along so I know that I've got a nice straight line where I'm bending it. I'm going to have to move you, Henry. Henry's arm got tore off, but it's not to, not to be expected, seeing where Henry is a I just put that in there now, just like that on the line. Come on now, Chetty. Beautiful. Now, I'm just going to reef up on a little bit. Take it out, see what happened. Not much of anything. Put it in the middle, see if I can't get a little tighter. Trying to get it right on the line so it's all so it's straight. Just trying to block flop that edge over a little bit. See it kicking out on me? It did turn some of it. Way ahead in there before. You see it turned that one. It's got me crooked now a little bit. But let's take this in, try this. Just don't want to be a whole long time doing that, but it is what it is. Put that in there. Broke my vise the other day. We have to take some time and fix it. See how I put that. Put Stick that back in there for now. That shouldn't hurt nothing. Make do. Now, just going to take, bend that over a little bit. Straighten that out a little bit. Where the where the the brake bend it over there and put a little crease in it. Just straighten it right out again, right on top of the dolly. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Just metal. You can bend it back. Making a funny face while I'm doing this. I'm just concentrating. That's all. I'm biting my lip. Not bad. Not bad. Funny spot right there. Come on, man. Let's go check it out and see what we got going on before we go any further. Got a nice round edge going on there. I got a little bend going on here. I don't not liking that. You can see how it's creased right there from the brake. Probably shouldn't. But I did. Now I gotta straighten it out. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. You see, I, now I took that out. You can see it's not so sharp there anymore. I don't know if I showed you long enough, but maybe it was to confuse you. What I'm trying to get, I think.
think I gotta tuck that around a bit more. I do, I gotta tuck it around. You come take a look at this over here. You can see how it's on here. I'm feeling like it's gotta be tucked around a bit more. A bit sharper. That's fine. Something I wanna do. You can see how this is nice and flat here. I got this kind of rounded here a little bit. I'm just gonna take and do this. I'm going to squish that down a little bit. Just going to put this on there. Not sure if I have to put that one up or not. I'll put it right on that line. I'm going to squish that one down. Just kind of flatten it out a little bit, that's all I'm trying to do. Just want it to be in the same shape, that's all. Let's, let's top roll that a little bit more. Cut in half, and I got enough to do both. Could have bent it over with a pair of channel locks and hammered it. Now, this edge here, I got a nice round edge going on here. But this edge here is kind of kind of rounded on me. I'm gonna step on it with my brunts. Kind of straighten that out a little bit if I can. I'm gonna hammer that a little bit. Straighten that out. Not to bruise it, just straighten it. Getting better. Haven't got that quite that round anymore. I'm trying to get it flat there as I can. Bend her up too much. resorting to whatever I want to do to get it done. Just going to knock that over a little bit. Same time.
Gotta have it straight. Trying to keep it flat here and get that little tiny roll there. <laughs> easier said, easier said than done. Now I'm just ironing it. Hey, now we're coming. Now it's taking a taking a dive on me. See what's taking a dive on me? It's going like that. Nope, I'm shrink it. I'm gonna put it right in here. Can't get it in there. Ah. Open it up. There we go. Put it back in shape. And do it again. So I'm stretching it. I'm, I'm. It's bowed in this way. It shrunk, pulled together, and I want it back. Straighter. Just got to fix this. Hmm. Let's take it. Actually, um, it does not matter a whole lot because I'm going to be cutting it in half. So as I mess with it, Probably does not matter. I'm gonna take it over on the T dolly. Just try to straighten the edges out a little bit. I've got to think I got it rolled over quite nice now. Try to flatten, straighten out a little bit. Got a little bit of this going on. That's okay because I'm gonna cut it in half and won't have that. Once I cut that and put that bait, that should be fine. Got it rolled around there quite nice. We're on top of it so it wouldn't lay. Let's cut it in half. Let's cut it in half. Did I put my marker? Did I put it down somewhere? Did I put it over there? Da -ba -da -da -da. It's cut in half. Thought I'd bring it over here with me, but I may not have. Eighteen. Tape in half. Cut in half 
zip cut. It's not crooked anymore. Ah. Still, I should flatten that out. I got that turned over a little bit much. I got to flatten that out some. Damn it. Damn it. Got to flatten that out. I got too much. round edge going on there now. Much happier. Much happier. Okay. Now. That's where I want that. I gotta find that damn marker. Where'd I put that damn thing? I've got your little marker things right here. I just know I have not opened them up yet. <laughs> just haven't opened them up yet. And I've been busy, that's why. Now, measuring tape. Just so I know where to cut this bad boy off. That's nine. Instead of measuring it, why don't we just do this? square on that and cut it off. I've got the other piece. I'm going to have to round that one off too, obviously. It's just we're going to cut that off and add this on. find my line on this side and I'll cut it off nice and straight stop it there's my line right here Right. 
This one I gotta fix. And that one is nice. So I'm gonna fix this one. And then we'll cut that off and tack it on. Too much bend in it. what I like. Good nice work. Actually, it's not what I like. Try to straighten that out a little bit. Got a nice little round on it now. Got a nice little round on it now. I guess. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Alrighty. He's both exactly the same, I'm hoping. And they is beautiful. So, so it does not matter which one I put on where. Gonna match the front up. It's got, it does have a little more tuck on it. And that'll have to be cut off. I'll cut that off after this piece here and add the 90 to it on it after. And we have a do we do have a longer a longer bend. Fits that yeah, beautifully. All right, let's go get the welder started. Tack these on. It's been a while. Call that a little dust on the bottle. Yeah. I'm going to tack this on on the leading edge. What I mean by the leading edge, I am going to what? Tack that on. Yeah. That didn't work out so well. She's 
is old stuff. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack that on this part. Closing my eyes. I'm gonna hammer dolly that so it comes right there. Tack that on back here. Tack it on the nail. Don't know if it's even straight or not, but I tacked it on. Can I get the other one? I'm do the exact same thing I did on that side. Tack it on the furthest edge first. And then we'll deal with the rest after. Probably could get a clamp and hold that on for me, probably. Would be a good thing. Take this off. Get it tacked in place. Let's take it over and set it on there. Thank you, sweetheart. Sort if we got the right thing going on. Okay. Straight up and down that way. That might have to kick back a little bit. We have the right height. I'm going to do this. That one there looks really good. This one's got a little bit of an issue. I'm going to cut that and do it again. And what I mean by an issue, see I put that on there like that. It's not running straight down. So I'm going to zip. I'll just put it back. Got a little gap going on there. It's not running straight. So I'm going to run the zip cut through that. Just apply it so it is straight. Put this back on there. Run it so it's straight, and we'll tack it back on. Let's do it again. Just sort of the stuff you have to pick up on. If you don't pick up on it, and you weld it all up, well then you'll just be in a place where you're not happy with. Probably no doubt in my mind. Probably could have done it the first time. But... Now I'm much happier. Much happier. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to apply a pair of clamps on that. I've got it tacked on the leading edge. What I mean by the leading edge is right where it's where it comes together first. I'm just going to put a pair of clamps on that, make sure the metal comes together, and then I can weld it together. So it's nice. Then we'll take a straight edge like this. We'll run this straight edge here along with this straight edge and I'll make a mark all the way down that and cut that off. And then we'll make a 90, we'll weld this 90 to that. Makes sense to me. I'm going to just leave that on for a second. I'm going to get a C-clamp.
hit it where it's nice first. Stop it. That fits together nice. Back some. Little hammer dolly on that one. Looks good. Looks good. I want to fly some. Some weld right here on the corner first before I start clamping her down. As you can see, I'm adding a little bit more than needed. For that reason, there, I'll have something to grind. I haven't got much of a gap for penetration, but what I'm going to say is, is that metal is, is quite thin, so there should be no issue with penetration. Let me get that right up there. Say I'm happy with that. That one's straight. That one's kind of wee wonky. And it's wee wonky from the original, not from me, from the original. Just like that, nice and straight, nice and straight, nice and straight. Let's take our, uh, we can use a, I think I want to get something a little bit longer. It's actually quite nice to be doing this again. It's going to take me a while to get, it's like riding a bicycle though. cutting that off and I'm going to bend a 90 and then when I bend the 90 I'm going to have more than I need so I'm going to have three quarter in this way and three quarter in that way but what I'll do is I'll zip cut it so I so my 90 is only that so it's like a quarter inch so I'll zip cut one edge so it's quarter inch and then I'll come along and I'll put it on that edge and we'll butt weld it together what time are we at 115 okay so I'm going to draw you see what I'm doing there I'll just I'll zip this cut off just very quick show I'm into it now boys we're gonna go for it down there so I'm gonna bend a 90 
Like I said, if you have more than that, I will cut it to that, and then I'll lay that 90 on there. We'll butt weld that together down there. Butt weld that across there, butt weld that across there. We might even take these little two end pieces here where they got them all, the little end pieces where they got the circles cut them. They're nice and, they're not bad. And what I can do is I can overlap that, cut, take, this, take this metal off, this piece here, take that off, and then I'll overlap that and put that right on top of that. This side, take and put that right over top of that on that side, and then I can weld that right on there maybe, or I might just make my own because it doesn't seem like it's that good of metal. All right, thanks everybody for coming back. I appreciate it. It took me a little bit to get into what I'm doing. To get that rolled over edge, uh, try to get it the same as that one. It took a little bit, obviously. Um, we did not, you know, we could have time-lapsed it, cut it out, but we didn't. That's what it took. But now I'm on the way to getting the grill shell where I want it to be. Um, yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming back. I appreciate it. We're going to continue on fabricating um, as we do the videos. And uh, I'll get a little faster because it's been a week or two since we've been doing it. Um, if you like, like it. If you want to share it, that'd be fantastic. If you know somebody that would want to subscribe, make sure you let them know. And uh, we'll be here tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for coming back. Appreciate it. And all the great comments. Thank you.